Okay, guys. Um, sorry about having to do a video. The audio on my computer doesn't always work so well. So, I'm just going to be doing my presentation via a video. But, um, anyways, the app that I'm presenting on is the assessment app called Socrative. I downloaded both the teacher and student versions just to give you guys kind of an idea of how it works. Um, first, we'll start by doing a little demonstration of the apps. Socrative teacher and Socrative student apps. Um, with the student app, this is what it will look like when the students log in. All they have to do is enter the room number that you will provide them with for demonstration purposes. I'll put in my own classroom number, which is Ingram2265. Once they add that in and then they log in, this is what it will look like to them. And once they're here, all they'll have to do is wait for you to launch an activity. And once you la launch that activity from your mobile phone or computer, whatever device you're using, it will automatically pop up right here into the student's account for them to see. When you open the Socrative Teacher account, you will be asked to either sign in or create your new account. When you create a new account, it's really easy. It's just your basic information, nothing complicated or special, special that you're going to need. And um, once you create your account, you'll sign in. Sign in. This is how your account will look. Um, you as a teacher, you have the option of launching a quiz, a space race, an exit ticket, or a quick question, which is going to be just one single question to your students. Um, if you click the three bars in the upper right corner, you can see... Where it says students, it says zero. This will show you how many students in your class have actually logged in to your classroom that day. So that basically tells you how many students are participating in either the quiz or space race or whatever it is that you choose to launch for them. Um, if you click on the quizzes section, um, all of the quizzes that you've created will show up in the menu and you can choose to launch from any of these quizzes that you've already created or you can also make your own new quiz by tapping the add quiz button in the upper right corner. Once you do that you can either create your own quiz or you have the option of importing a quiz. If you choose to import a quiz you can use a quiz that another teacher has already created in the Socrative account as long as they give you the Socrative quiz number that's associated with that account. And you can import it that way. Or you can also import a quiz from an Excel file that you've created. You would just choose, click choose file and you would have the options of choosing whichever quiz it is that you want to import to send to your students. To the drop-down menu, you can also view all of your rooms that you have. If you don't download the Socrative Pro option, you are only allowed to have one room open at a time, and the Socrative app will give you that room, and they will also give you the room number that goes along with it. Other than that, you can also go to the reports folder. In the reports folder, you will see all of the information from the students, from every 
quiz or space race or question or anything like that that you have ever given out will pop up in this folder. And what you can do with this is say you click on one of the quizzes that you gave. And it will pop up like this. Um, under the name, it would have all of the students who participated in that quiz and their scores. And you have the option of either seeing the name of the students that took the quiz, or you can turn that off. And you can also choose if you want to see which answers they entered, or if you don't. And another thing that you can do in this section is you can actually create spreadsheets in Excel of either you have the option of choosing to make a whole class spreadsheet, which will make a spreadsheet of every student's answers to each question on the quiz that you gave, or you can choose to make an individual student PDF, which will make a PDF of each individual student that you have in your room that participated in the quiz that you gave and it will show what they answered which ones they got wrong things like that or you also have the option of choosing to make a pdf of specific questions in the quizzes that you gave to your students so say you only wanted to see the results from question number five question number 12 and question number 13 you could choose to just get the um, reports of the answers that all the students in your class gave to those specific questions, and you'll get a PDF document of that. And what's cool about it is all you have to do is press the email me button, and the app will automatically create these reports and will send them to the email that you use to create your account. You come back and you go to the launch tab. You can say you clicked the to launch a quiz. You launch a quiz. You pick a quiz from the ones that you have created. You would choose it, push next, and when you push next, that's when the students will see in their student app the quiz will pop up and they'll have the opportunity to start answering the questions. It's up to you how you want to deliver the quiz to them, you have three options. Instant feedback is where the students won't have an option of which, which order they want to answer the questions. They'll have to order them in the way that you set it up, one through however many questions you have, and they won't have the option to go back and change or review their answers. You can also use Open navigation, which is, would give the students the option of answering the questions in whichever order they desire, and they can go back and forth and review questions, change questions. They can start at question 12 if they wanted to, start at the end and go to the beginning, whichever way they prefer. Or you can do teacher paste, which in teacher paste, you have the option of launching question one. You launch question one, the students answer, and you could talk about it. And then when you're ready to move on to question two, you launch question two, the students answer, you talk about it, and so on. Um, you also have a few other additional things that you can change on when you launch a quiz. You can require the students to add their names or not. That's up to you. You can shuffle the questions. You can shuffle the answers. They can either see feedback that you gave them on each question or not. And they can see their final score or you can keep that private for them. Um, if you launch the space race option, you would again choose whichever quiz you want to launch to your students. And what this would do is put your students into teams. You have the option of choosing however many teams from two all the way to 20. And once the students would be in their teams, 
you can either auto assign the teams or you can change it where it's students' choice and they make their own teams. And then you just you assign um, an icon, whichever icon you choose. It doesn't matter. It's just this is just really for the students to enjoy. And <clears throat> once you do all of that, you can again shuffle the questions, shuffle the answers and show the final score, that's up to you as the teacher. And what this space race is, is once you click this start button in the lower right corner, the quiz will show up in all of the students' accounts, and it's basically a race to see which team finishes the quiz the fastest as well as with the most correct answers and and then again if you were to come back here um the quick question option like i had um previously talked about would just be one question that you want to give to your students um for example if you chose the short answer option this would pop up and you would enter in whichever question you want your students to answer once you push the start button, that question will show up in their account and they'll have the opportunity of answering that question. And this allows you to get real-time student responses to the question that you asked, which is cool because sometimes as a teacher, when you answer questions, some kids might be shy to answer or think they have the wrong answer. So this gives them the opportunity to answer your question without, you know, having the fear of getting embarrassed or having a wrong answer or whatever it may be and so yeah pretty much this is um, a pretty cool easy to navigate app that you can use to get instant feedback on what your students know and it also tells you what you might want to focus on in your next day's lesson that you notice students weren't really grasping so well or yeah things like that that I downloaded was free. It's free for teachers and all versions of Socrative Student are free. The free teacher Socrative app is um, you only get to have one room max and in, in that room you can have a max of 50 students per room and you can only launch one activity at a time. But there is a Socrative Pro version that's $59.99 a year, which allows you to have 20 room max and launch up to 20 activities at one time. And you can also import your class roster into that version of the app. And then three ways that you can use Socrative in a physical education classroom would be to maybe use it to have a quiz or an exam at the end of one of your units. And you can also use it as a review for maybe a test that you're going to give them sometime in the near future. And with using it as a review, you can see what the students know based on the feedback that the app gives you. And then if you have to give any more instruction on areas that you see students didn't do so well in the review, you can cover that. You can also use it for the space race component, which is like a, a good competitive little game that you can use in your class that might give the students an incentive to study so that they could be the ones that win the game maybe they get extra credit or you know whatever it may be and then a third way is that you can use the app to create those excel spreadsheets that you as a teacher can use to access where your students are currently and you can use that information to see what you might want to tweak on your next day's lesson plan. 
if you need to go over something a little bit more that you notice the students aren't understanding so well or so forth. And yeah, that's my presentation. Thank you.